Okay, first off, I want to talk about, um, I think the two pieces you may have trouble with is the notation and uh, um, our random numbers. So for epsilon, you can use norm.inv and then for probability we'll choose a random number function in Excel. Uh, that returns a random number from 0 to to one, which is our probability. Can't have negative probabilities, can't have probabilities greater than one. Comma, and since it says standard normal, then we'll put zero and one in. Now this is just one way um, that you could do it. Um, interestingly enough, people have different variations of this that they think is more appropriate for their their um, their particular case study, and that's fine. Um, just as long as uh, you justify why that is. Okay, so now if I do F9, then this returns me my different values. I had one person return, use ran between, negative 3 and 3 one semester. Well, the problem with that is, it does not return decimals. So their their um, results were a little bit different than what we might expect. So this this would be a better better method. Okay, now let me talk about this s sub t plus one is equal to s sub t. Now if I were to put a value in there, let me uh, do it down here. For example, if I were to plug in t is equal to one, then you put one in for the t here, and this becomes s two. I can't do sub, uh, subscripts here. And then if I put 1 in here, this would be S1. Times, and then uh, e to a power, you know, the, all the rest that follows it. So it would look like that. If I were to plug in t is equal to 2. If I put 2 in for the t, 2 plus 1 is 3, so it would have S3 is equal to, and if I put 2 in for the t here would have s2 times exp and then whatever. So you can see that um, it's referring to the previous. So if we're talking about um, Excel and let's say I wanted to uh, take the previous value and, and keep adding this random number over and over to it. It's not it's not what this uh, case study is uh, asking for but I'm not gonna you know, go down uh, cover any of that. Let's say we got our starting value. Let's say our starting value is 200. Now this next one, I'm going to equals the previous value times norm.inv rand01 like that. Now maybe I don't want it times. That'll get. Let me do a plus. There we go. Plus. So then, um, you see that uh, this this particular row here is referring to the previous row. Now, if I fill it down, then you can see how it fluctuates. Now, on the case study, you should have uh, the random number change for each iteration, each row, like this. <laughs> 